and deck masters week one we're on the uh, the fifth match of the day the fifth and last is going to be trump versus harudra uh, an unknown player from denmark who's actually playing on team uh, tricked esports so if you've heard about him you already know more about him and his play style than i do uh, i've seen trump play quite a bit and he's improved a lot over the past months so i mean he's he's been coming back on the scene mm -hmm. So I expect this to be a very good match. We know Trump is a player who, even though he's very skilled at the game, is very predictable. So I'm guessing if Harujo has done his research, he will understand that Trump, when playing Warlock, Warrior, and Paladin, will most likely be Handlock and Patron Warrior, which could be a major advantage for Harujo. What do you think? Um, Trump's predictability is um it, it kind of plays into the same predictability level as i as i think of life coach where you know his deck list but it doesn't mean he'll play them any worse and you might still get beat out by just the sheer strength of the deck that he plays but um trump's warlock was bad and i think warlock is one of the classes that trump plays best so left with mm -hmm. warrior and paladin um patron being a fairly new deck compared to the other archetypes of warlock he might it might be a bit out of his comfort zone as far as harudra he's got warlock warrior and hunter and the warlock was banned as well so that leaves warrior paladin for trump versus warrior hunter for harudra so who do you think has advantage in terms of those two decks right now or the two decks versus the two decks I'd venture to say Trump, if the Paladin is built um, properly, probably has a slight edge, but it depends which last deck it comes down to, because if the Hunter can beat out the Warrior somehow, then that takes out a huge stress on Harujo's lineup. Mm -hmm. So here, I think if Harujo is running Patron Warrior, then it's all going to come down to the Hunter versus Paladin matchup, because right. Patron Warrior in general does have advantage against Paladin, especially if they understand how to play correctly and not go all in with Patron, save kind of... Right slow back, be patient, and again, this is hard to say, but pass turns. Armor like pass, do, do that every time. Yeah, it's like you just wait. Eventually, they'll they'll either flood the board over extend, you'll get a sick frothing play or an amazing patron play. Like you'll get some like a good timing on it. And I've also been thinking um, about whether or not without Emperor Thorson, if um, patron would even be as viable as it is. Because the, the strength of it is like pa armor pass, armor pass, get a sick emperor, win, right? It's kind of how it tends to go, so. That's, that's completely true. And right now, there's actually two major versions of Patreon. And oh, and as we see it, we do see Harudra is running Patreon Warrior. Oh, man. Versus what looks like Trump's. Trump's looking pretty slick on that picture. He is. Is that a bolo uh, tie? It's, yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is classy Trump. There seems to be an issue with the spectator mode on Trump's side at the very least. So it looks like Trump is running Paladin. So this is going to be a matchup, again, I would have to actually put into Harudra's favor. And really just looking at this hand, Harudra just wins. If I was going to pick four cards to start with against a Paladin, I think these would be those four. Oh, wait, he threw him away? He did, yeah. I guess uh, he really is fishing for the Emperor Thorson, but I guess you do have the Acolyte of Pain, so ultimately you could still get carried on the back of that for your but card this, draw, but that's a... Oh, never mind. He at least Okay, it he up. got it. He, we're okay. Ruja hopefully had a little bit of redemption <laughs> with that card draw, but throwing <laughs> oh, that God. away almost gave me a heart attack. Yeah, I, mean, I it, actually it had one. <laughs> It, uh, like, if, if Trump didn't have a quality Consecrate on turn 5, Rudro just had won that game. And he's, I still think he does. Alright, Armorsmith, a really good pickup here for Harudra. Mm -hmm. It couldn't get much better at this point. And Trump's hand isn't terrible, but let's just say it's not very proactive at this point. Uh, exactly. At least not for turn 3, so it's going to be a little awkward for him. Now, now, I have to say, I actually don't dislike coining out Acolyte here because the, um, the Paladin has no way to deal with that. Without an Owl, that Acolyte will get at least two card draws. However, right. that keeps Harujo one turn behind of actually getting out the coin Death Spite here in order to follow it up. Or, no, I'm sorry, not coin Death Spite, but able to get the Death Spite into the Patron play. Exactly, which I think is going to be more important. So now here's a question. If Trump expects Ruger to be playing Patron Warrior, then I think you actually throw down the big game, Hunter. What do you uh, there's think? There's still no tell. It's the problem, right? You you almost could lose the game on the back of that BGH if it turns out to be a Control Warrior somehow. 
I mean, Control Warrior did disappear, but as a result of Patron, funny enough, there have been more Control Warriors. Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of a, a mind game at this point. It's all guesswork. And the Acolyte of Pain going to die to that Chosover Champion, unfortunately, which is why you advocated for coining it out, perhaps. Now, if he plays the Acolyte of Pain, I actually would not mind seeing um, Haruja attacking and knocking off the bubble, expecting to play the Death Spite the following turn. To kill over the killing the one one exactly you could even attack face with death bite if needed and then play patron wipe the two one and the one one defend of argus exactly. would be the only thing that really really punishes you which most paladins have cut in this point in time mm -hmm. so he does decide to actually just kill off the one one expecting maybe a uh, quartermaster on turn five two arms man and it's pretty crazy so when you think about it, because even when it dies, Acolyte of Pain is still a pretty good card for the uh, Patron Warrior. Mm -hmm. Very much so. You just need to cycle through your deck and get those combos out. Oh, wow. Oh, and the Battle Rage this is This is insane. Cheer. This is an insane board state for Harudra, or the hand at least. I can already see where this is going, and it's not looking stellar for Trump. It's going into Trump conceding on turn 5 when all those patrons pop out. So Despite, wipe off this mini bot. That'll actually allow... Tr so what could Trump play? Like, let's imagine we can't see his hand. What is the best possible Belcher play Trump doesn't have? even help. Um, Lothab would be the Lothab. closest to a good thing. Yeah, I think Lothab would be closest to the best thing that Harudra is worried about. But even then... Um, as I said, like it, it's been played and it's come back very strongly, but maybe not to the extent where you expect it as a mandatory play on five. It's, plus, it's a legendary, so it's a one of. Oh man, Belcher is not going to be that good, unfortunately. If he does go for that, does not make the mistake. So, knife juggler hero power here. Does it matter if Rudra still gets infinite patrons? So he wants that to actually be a phase, because now he can run the armor smith into 3 2 and attack face with his weapon. But right let's here, once see, we see. Let's the see if Ferudra has the, um, the play in mind, because I know a lot of players don't always patron this board, because they are waiting for that war song. The thing is, against Paladin, there's no reason not to. There's absolutely I, I zero reason not to, unless you're afraid of equality consec. You have I think to have four that. patrons is all you need here. You want to save that other inner rage for some burst damage to maybe refill your patron board. Um, in case equality power, consec does hit. Exactly that too. It's you don't want to go all in in this situation without the war song to possibly set up for a kill. But at the same time, you want to put enough pressure on Trump that if he doesn't have the answer, it'll allow you to win the next turn or two. Interestingly enough, though, Trump with a Consecration could handle this board if it's only two patrons up. Couldn't he? One of them would live, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to he go going, all in on He's going to go all in here. Yeah. Looks like This it, is a least. bold move. Let's see, again, this is how he could get punished. Um, oh, man, he has to do it quickly, at the very least. So he's going to probably attack into the Night Juggler with the Armor Smith, get the four damage to the face. So that way, uh, he's going to lose the Armor Smith regardless. Just get himself... The full patron board, and that is a lot of full health patrons, and Trump, with no equality consecration, is going to have a hard time with this one. But see, here, here's the thing with putting this many patrons right now. If you actually use consecrate and then kill off the brand new patron, then all of a sudden Harudra's left with only one health patrons, and the board's pretty much gone. So that's why I think that putting out six here is, I wouldn't say a mistake, but... A ballsy move, because all Trump would need right now, not to fully clear the board. Like, Trump just concedes no. Wait, 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 wait. I called it. <laughs> Third five, all the patrons concede, it's done. Uh, when everyone gets in here, you really have no choice as a paladin in the position like this without equality consec to just get away. I mean, consecration alone would have done quite a bit of work, but, um, I mean, six patrons on turn five is just the best possible thing for a warrior at this point. Exactly, so well played by Harudra. Uh, this is why I had a heart attack when he had that hand. I know! Uh, I couldn't believe it. On turn 5, so... Yeah. 
Well, I mean, next time maybe he won't mulligan that Grim Patron against Paladin. I mean, I was really surprised he did. And from this game, I don't think he will ever again. Harudra going to go for his Hunter play. Here, uh, Trump has a Paladin and a Warrior in his lineup. So he still has to win with his two decks against a Hunter. And as we very well know, Hunter takes games against anyone. But but not with a hand that has two traps at the beginning. Well, he'll just mulligan the Mad Scientist, and he found the Mad Scientist, see? see. Mad Scientist Creeper, that is exactly what you want here. I'm a little surprised he kept the Abusive Sergeant at the starting hand. What do you think about that choice? Actually, it depends on the, the archetype he's running. We didn't see any late-game cards, did we? So it could be Face Hunter with a very fa like unfacey start. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think from what we've seen with the two types of traps, having both explosive and, and freezing, freezing yeah. may mean that it's kind of a hybrid version right here. Whether or not he's running stuff like Wolf Rider and Arcane Golem, it's hard to tell. You know what I love about Hybrid Hunter is that Hunter has, since its inception or since its popularity back when, I guess, Sunshine Hunter was a thing, it's always had this weird cycle where it went from mid-range Hunter to face Hunter to hybrid to mid-range, to face, to hybrid. It just keeps cycling like this, and every time a cycle gets to hybrid, people are like, hey, look at this new Hunter deck! But it's the same thing that we've seen a hundred times uh, with like three different cards. It always amuses me. <laughs> That's no true. Alright. So I expect to see a muster for battle, but how do you do order it currently? Because a freezing trap off the scientist will be painful. I, I really have to expect to see him to actually just wipe off the one ones here. Yeah, I, I agree with you here. I mean, you're weak to unleash, but that doesn't even matter. Like he's losing all the hounds and he's not getting any knife hits off of it, so you'd be very happy with that outcome if that were to come. That's a really weak board state for Harudra, unfortunately for him. It's a possibility to just eagle horn go face. Um, he definitely has a freezing trap we saw, but I'm guessing it's... Oh, I'm sorry, explosive. I'm guessing it's one explosive, two freezing. And he might just take the 33% chance here of getting that I freezing I mean, otherwise it's not looking explosive. very good for him. Exactly. Well, I mean, Haunted Creeper alone and trade into the 2-1 makes no sense if you got two freezings. So I guess you could kill a 1-1 one, one and play Haunted Creeper, but that seems very weak as well. That's why I, I really don't mind just going face. Oh, I guess he, he just wants freeze. to kill it off. That's... That is so weak to Freezing Trap, but hopefully for him he doesn't run. Actually, it's weak to both traps now. It's a pretty weak play for both traps. At least you're going to get an extra charge, which I guess is what he's looking for. That's why I have to admit that I'm actually not a fan of that line of play there. I, I would have really considered just going face at that point and making Trump actually make the trades himself. Because he would have made them anyway, pretty much, no matter what. Most likely. Alright, let's see what trap pops out of this. As you said, probably two freezings, one explosive. And that's one freezing out of the way. Herudra gets the extra charge, so he's going to be slightly happy about that. And Trump is thinking about getting the True Silver out. As a, uh, now, what do you think about that measure? over using a... I would have really, would've... especially because he does have Quartermaster in hand, using just his hero power. I was going to mention that, yeah. Or playing your... Uh... Quartermaster next turn was going to be like typically a little bit better. Uh, then again, he might have not gotten any value out of it now that the juggler's out. So knife juggler. But again, even the knife juggler was out, and it pinged off one of his minions. He still would have had a three three in order to kill it off. So it wouldn't have been optimal, but it was still not a bad move. And Harutra right, well, does get not lucky. Back on his board. Trump's got two charges of True Silver left, and he does play the Blessing of Kings. We have started to see that more often. Uh, very often, actually, uh, worryingly so. Um, I now have to play around it to the point where my silences don't feel like they're worth it until I've seen this. Mm -hmm. That's actually a good point. It, it does make Silence more of an effective card in this game. Um, and I feel like Silence is one of the effects that as the game develops more, becomes more and more and more powerful. So I'm in it'll be interesting to see of how Blizzard deals with it. Always Huffer. And by the way, going back to the silence uh, point that you made, Blizzard has also mentioned that they're not comfortable adding too many silence cards because it does nullify 
a lot of the plays that people want to make. You know, you want to play Bolvar <laughs> 4 Dragon, forget about it. It's never happening. I mean, Challenge Stone will let you, but that's as far as you're going to go. Exactly, but as Silence is still exists in the game, it, it makes it forces Blizzard to actually create cards like Doctor Boom that have their effects that can get around Silence. Because Silence is obviously useless against Doctor Boom. So, I mean, immediate effects is what makes it uh, super important. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you do in Trump's position here? Do you BGH ever? Because you're probably not going to run into a high main. And if you do, it's not going to be BGHable. Do you kill that hero power and blessing of kings on your one one? Owl would be so five sure. five. Owl would really wreck your turn, though. No, I'd be happy with that because that actually means you don't have an owl on Tyrion following uh, the next couple of turns. So do we do we know what Harut? Oh wow, is that a quick shotable hand next turn? He could go double abusive kill command phase. So I think you start going phase. I would like kill command, uh, abusive hero power phase right now, followed by, again, abusive because it's a haunting creeper, you're going to most shot. likely have something, so you can abusive, mm -hmm. abusive hero power quick shot if necessary. Yeah, no, I agree with you here. And I don't think Trump's going to be able to push for lethal anytime soon. He's mm -hmm. going to have like about three to four turns at the very least before he can he start pushing for that. Yeah, I, I really think that Haruja just, just start going in here. Rudra is uh, hyper focused right now. A little fidgety right now because he knows he's in a stressful position. Um, I think this may be the first major tournament he's ever been in that I can recall. I agree so. Um, so, so I hope he, he goes he really face wants here. To do if he's well. too cautious. It's not going to be good. And he does go for the kill command phase play with hero power, weaving in that extra bit of damage from hero power, which is very very important if you're playing face. Absolutely. Hunter. And I, I think Harudra is playing this game incredibly well. This Iron Beak Owl can have an effect on this game, but Trump also has to start pushing damage himself, so he may be very tempted just to throw down Dr. Boom here. How do you like Iron Beak Owl Quartermaster and uh, trade your 3-3 three, three and 4-2? Like you traded 3-3 three, three into the 2-1 and the 4-2 into the 1-2? Do you think Quartermaster is justifiable yet, or is it too early? I do think I like that, but... What's the difference between Quartermaster and Blessing of Kings in that situation? A lot of times you... Uh, it's Whoa! all Oh! So he does decide that he needs a Doctor Boom to start pushing out this damage. And that's a good game right oh. there. That kill command just taking it. Trump is going to get three, kill five. commanded out of it. Oh man, exact lethal here for Harudra. With, with that quick shot. Top deck and this. And what is he going to top deck at the very end? Just curious. Oh, Savannah High, I mean. Wait, Savannah hybrid. Is hybrid it is um wow well that is going to be the series harudra taking it over trump two to zero trump not even getting a chance to play his warrior deck paladin goes down oh two versus patron warrior with an incredible patron start and the hunter who well i mean got the abuses at the right time i guess absolutely harudra played that very well but at the same time he did get the cards he needed uh especially with that patron uh game it's not like he had that many difficult choices. I think his most difficult choice in that game was whether or not to coin out an Acolyte. But other than that, he just played his cards out, and Trump conceded on turn five. Um, yeah. I, there was no choice for Trump at that point. I mean, that, that game, that board was out of control, and you really had no way to catch up. So I understand him just trying to cut the, uh, the game to as short as it can get. So... We have the five winners of the day, uh, which has been, it has been an interesting day so far. I, we're going to be back. We have like two more days this week. We cast on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So we've got three days per week for the next month. This is an ongoing event for the, the next month. You'll see Vulcan Deathmasters just about you know three times a week. We're have, we have three weeks of pre-playoffs. Then on the fourth week, we'll have the playoffs where people will be competing for the top spots and mm -hmm. uh, you know get, that, uh, get in the money, basically. So we have uh, so 20 players. Some some quick shout outs before we go. We want to thank Vulcan sure. for putting on this awesome tournament. Uh, for those who don't know, Vulcan.com, and you want to go Vulcan.com slash Hearthstone, is the largest fantasy esports site currently in existence. They've announced a $10 million prize pool. Like, that's nuts. Um, yeah. So, both Noxious and I actually went on their site today to register, and we did it in like three minutes. It's like really simple, it's really easy to use, very safe. They allow you to use PayPal. It, it's. Something that I might actually personally get started on. It's a very cool concept, and it's very well done by them. I and then also a quick shout-out to Squarespace for being another major sponsor of this tournament, squarespace.com slash deckmasters, where you'll get a 10% off 
on your first sign up. It starts at $8 a month and you get a free domain. All their sites look professionally well done. You don't need to know any coding. It, it's very easy to do. It, it's If you're ever considering making a website, that's the site you want to go through. Right. Well, on this note, guys, we're done for the first day of the Vulcan Deck Masters of at least the, the month to come. We'll be back tomorrow with more exciting games. Five more matches. Conquest, best of three, one ban. I hope you guys will be there. Until then, take care of yourselves and uh, come back. Thanks for tuning in.